Hey folks, if you recall from last week, I shared a, a truism with you that I felt like the Holy Spirit impressed upon me years ago. And that truism was, if we do not look upon what we possess with gratitude, we'll always be looking on what we do not possess with greed. And today I want to give you a real life example of that from the Holy Scriptures. And I think this should have a, a real impact upon you and upon your kids as well. Uh, we've been doing the book of Esther in our daily devotions as a family. It's a, it's a rich book full of so many great truths. And if you recall the story, uh, Haman was promoted throughout the first half of the story. As a matter of fact, after being promoted, he ran home. Uh, unfortunately, he ran by the front gate and there was Mordecai, the Jew, who would not bow down, who would not give him homage. Why? Um, Mordecai doesn't seem to feel like he had to legally because he was a Jew. Infuriated Haman, so the story says. And, but he restrained himself and he got home. And then he started to share with his family all the great things that had happened to him. He said, first of all, I have great riches. Secondly, I have a lot of sons. Thirdly, I'm just getting more and more promotions all the time. And fourthly, not even that, the queen herself invited me to a feast attended only by the queen, the king, and me. There was a lot going on. But then he said, but what is that worth when that man Mordecai will not bow to me? He had all of these things going for him. Riches, promotions, uh, sons, favor with the queen. But he could not let that one thing go that he didn't have Mordecai's respect and Mordecai's honor. You know the story. From there he went and built a gallows per his wife's suggestions. Be careful, wives. And it was 50 uh, cubits tall, which is 75 foot tall. He wanted to have Mordecai hung on that for all to see what happens if you did not honor Haman. He went to the king, and if you know the story again, the king reversed it. Mordecai had to parade, uh, or Brother Haman had to parade Mordecai through the streets on the king's horse with the king's robes. And ultimately, he was hung on the very gallows he had prepared for Mordecai. Why? He focused on what he didn't have, that one thing, and he didn't give thanksgiving and gratitude for all the good things. This is a great illustration of this truism. So this Thanksgiving season, I encourage you to share that story with your children. Maybe read the entire book of Esther over the course of the next two weeks. And teach our kids, train our kids to always be looking on what God is doing, not on what God has yet to do. This is Kirk Smith with ICHE's Take 5, wishing you a great and a happy Thanksgiving in 2019.